Hello everyone, it's me again, me Martin from Moms at Work. Today let's talk about reciprocity, but before anything else, if you're a mother and you want to start working from home and be your own boss and build your freelance virtual assistant business, then keep watching because this channel is for you. Every week we come up with live sessions and webinars, so please subscribe to the channel to get your regular dose of free and useful freelancing tips. Okay, let's get down to business. Now let's start by going down the memory lane. I want you to remember when was the last time that someone gave you a gift or did you a favor, or maybe someone sent you a little something for your birthday or referred you to a client. Maybe a friend offered to run errands for you or look after your kids while you're away. Whatever it is that they have done for you, I want you to recall how did you feel at that particular moment. I bet you felt thankful and indebted, right? You felt like you had to do something or to offer something in return, even if it's not being asked, correct? No, everyone feels that way. And that is because of the principle called reciprocity. You know, this principle is all about people's tendency to do something nice for someone who did something good for them. And it's widely applied in the business world as well especially in marketing. Now, that said, you can use it also for your own freelance business in which you offer something valuable to your prospects and clients to build stronger, deeper, and longer lasting relationships with them, whether or not they hire you. And by doing this, they get a glimpse of what you can do for them and make a conscious and favorable response towards your service and your business. Now this way, clients won't feel like they're being sold to. Being sold to is something that we do not like. So how do we do this in practice? Now here are three ways. Number one, be the first to give. Now even before the client signs up for your service, offer a gift upfront. Now it could be bonus item in your package or a small discount if they offer one-time payment. It doesn't matter how big or how small the gift is. All it matters is that you're sending a message that you have their best interest at heart, that you care for them and that you care for their business. Okay? Number two, let them know how they can support you. Now, when they're happy with your service, clients usually look for ways to thank you. So make it easier for them to do so. A place where they can share their review or submit their story will cut it. Now, this makes the relationship a two-way street. And finally, be the last to give. Now, let's say you offered a prospect a discount up front and they gave their business to you in return. Now, the next move is to make sure that you're the last to give when the work is done or when the work is over. And you can do this by offering them an option to get in touch with you through free newsletters or giving them a referral in incentive for, for the future. Now, whether or not you get something from the farewell gift or from this farewell gift, you already made an effort to stay connected with them post-project, which could strengthen the relationship even more. And of course, you're sending an impression that you care for them. That's what's most important. Now that we know the different ways to use reciprocity in our business, there's one thing I'd like you to remember. Authenticity and reciprocity should always go hand in hand. Remember you're doing this to help clients and build a relationship based on trust, loyalty, and sincerity. Not just because you want their business or you want money or you want a job, okay? Now this approach works better when you make clients feel that they don't expect anything in return. Keep in mind as well that reciprocity won't always yield tangible and monetary return, but it pays off in one way or another. So don't be discouraged if someone or some clients don't seem to reciprocate your efforts. After all, when you build an authentic connection with people, good things will automatically follow, and often in ways you don't expect. So that's it for now, moms. I hope you've learned something from this video and stay connected with us in all our social media platforms. We're on Facebook, IG, YouTube, and LinkedIn. That's it for now. Much love.